Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my current favorites with you. So the first product I'm going to share with you is Maxi Lash. The past, I don't even know how many months now, I've had strangers come up to me and ask me what I use on my lashes. I've had family members that know me, they see me almost every day. They've also been asking, what are you using on your lashes? If you guys have been following me for a while now, then you know that I'm naturally blonde and I just simply don't grow a lot of hair. I've never had the longest or the fullest hair naturally, whether it's my lashes, my hair on my head, or my brows. I was just not blessed in that department. <laughs> I found out about the Maxi Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. So I figured, why not? What do I have to lose? And let me tell you fam, I am typically a skeptic. After giving this a try for myself, I now know that this actually works. So this is what it looks like in the container as well as in the packaging. It says right on the box, Eyelash Enhancing Serum is scientifically formulated to improve the appearance, length, and volume of eyelashes. Basically, Maxi Lash is going to give you the appearance of false lashes by giving you longer and fuller lashes that are 100% yours. So they look like falsies, but they're your real lashes. Maxi Lash was awarded the 2017 Beauty Favorite Award. They also have a 90 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you get your money back. And if you like it, then you get longer, thicker lashes. That's a win-win. Maxi Lash is also super easy to use. In the packaging, you get the instructions. <laughs> After you wash your face, remove your contacts, if you wear any, you apply this on the root of the lash. So right on that lash line where the lashes start to grow, that's where you're going to apply this. You only need a small amount, so you don't have to like continuously apply it, trust me. And this is what it looks like. It has this little brush right on the end there with the product on it, so you just use it as you would a liquid eyeliner, same concept, you're just going to paint a thin line right on top of the lash. It is clear, so once it dries in a few seconds, no one will even know that you have it on. The initial effects of using Maxi Lash typically start to work within a week to 10 days. I would say the thing that I noticed first would be when I curled my lashes, how much longer they were, and honestly, like, they start to almost hit my eyebrow. <laughs> like, they're so much longer than they were naturally. My sister and I were having dinner a couple weeks ago and she asked me what false lashes I was wearing. I wasn't wearing any. <laughs> They're just my lashes. All thanks to Maxi Lash. So using this definitely gave me that bold, fuller, thicker lash naturally. So I don't have to use as much mascara. I can literally do one swipe and because of using Maxi Lash, they're so much fuller, wider, and much more noticeable overall. I don't even feel the need to wear falsies as much as I used to before using Maxi Lash. Around day 30, after using this every night, as directed, you should see the full results. So that's going to be fuller, longer, thicker, darker lashes. After the 30 days, you can taper off the use to about twice a week to maintain. Maxi Lash convinced me after using it for myself and has earned its spot in my nightly beauty routine. After removing my makeup, I never forget to apply this because it works. Because I am such a skeptic, I had to take before and after pictures. You guys know I do this with pretty much anything and everything that I ever try. <laughs> so I will post the pictures here for you guys to check out. I also have a discount code for you guys to use if you are interested in giving Maxi Lash a try for yourself. The discount code will give you $20 off your purchase, and that is B, but just like my last name. I highly recommend checking it out. It's also a great product to put on your wish list this Christmas season. If someone is asking what they can get you, definitely add this to your list. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Next up for my skin, I've not been using foundation as much recently. With the colder months, my skin's been a little bit more on the drier side. I am combination, so I get the oily T-zone, and the rest of my face typically is tighter and drier. So I've been trying to go for more of a glowy look to the skin, keeping it hydrated. So to do that while getting coverage, I've been using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I have two in my hand because I mix shades to get my perfect color, but this says that it is a color correcting full coverage cream, anti-aging hydrating serum with SPF 50. The two shades I've been mixing recently are Fair and Light. These are the mini little travel trial sizes. I, of course, do have the big normal size, which is huge. Let me grab one. <laughs> which is this guy right here. So this is the full size that you get normally. This is the little travel trial size. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on my skin. People say, you're glowing, your skin looks so natural, so hydrated, so dewy. Like, all these positive compliments that I don't always get with my skin. I've had strangers ask me what foundation I'm wearing as I'm, like, shopping or whatever, and I tell them I'm not. <laughs> Typically, when I wear my CC cream, I don't wear foundation, so I just wear this. It's a one-step, easy, all-over product. This helps to cover up any breakouts I have, any redness in the cheeks, scarring, 
my freckles. Honestly, a little bit goes a long way with this guy. You don't need much to get a full coverage out of it. So I'll show you a tiny amount on my hand and how pigmented it is. So there it is. That's like the tiniest little dot ever. <laughs> like, look at that. You get so much out of the tiniest little drop. It's super easy to blend out, and it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. So there it is blended out. You can see it gives, well, I think you can see it, it gives like a dewy, hydrated look to the skin. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about this is the smell. I don't like the smell of it. It smells weird to me. I'm not a fan of the smell of it, but I'm pretty sure that's the SPF in it. You don't smell it once it's on your skin, but if you use your hands to apply it or whatever, you can smell it, and you can actually smell it like in the tube itself. But if it is the SPF, which I think it is, I can't really hate on it that much because it's protecting your skin. <laughs> so whatever, I guess it's not that big of a deal, especially because I don't smell it once it's on, but that's the only thing I don't love about this. So while we're on the face makeup topic, my other favorite would be the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sure you've probably already tried this or already use it, but if not, if you're one of the people who somehow have never heard of it, or just have chosen not to give it a try yet, for whatever reason, you're missing out. So these are the two shades I've been using recently in the winter months where I am super pale. <laughs> this is Fair and Light. So Fair pulls a slightly neutral yellower tone than Light. Light is going to be a bit darker and pull more of a beigey pinker undertone, which I'm hoping you can see here, the difference. This stuff is so pigmented, crazy pigmented. If you're looking for full coverage, this is your guy. Right off the bat, you can just put the tiniest little dot and you're gonna get full coverage to the max. I was on Twitter last night and you guys can go look this up as well. Tarte tweeted a little mini video of them covering someone's sleeve on their arm. No joke, this stuff made that completely gone. Completely, like you had no idea she had a sleeve on her arm prior to applying the shape tape. It was amazing. A few other reasons why I love Tarte Shape Tape is it is a vegan concealer, it is full coverage, it's extremely blendable, and it also provides a matte finish. Even if you are on the dry side, you're still gonna like this because it blurs any imperfections, pores, and fine lines. It does give a matte finish, but it's not going to be over drying even if you have dry skin. I'm combination skin and I have no issues with this at all. It doesn't get cakey or creasy or anything like that when I wear it. Honestly, I wish that they did offer this in a foundation because I would just put this all over my face and wear it that way. <laughs> I use this to conceal, highlight, I even have a darker shade to contour. So this is really a multitask product, not just concealer. Oh, all the products that I'm going to talk about in this video are listed in the description box so you guys can shop by clicking on the link directly there. I'll also have discount codes and more information listed down there for you guys too. Next up is more of a skincare product. This is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. This deeply exfoliates to reveal smooth skin. So I just recently started using this about four months ago, and I'm telling you, I've seen a huge difference in my skin. Again, with the colder months, I've been drier, and when you're drier, you typically look like you have more texture to your skin, and you need to exfoliate. Honestly, whether your skin is dry, oily combination, whatever age you are, anything, you need to exfoliate your skin. You need to remove the dead skin cells, and it also helps to remove anything that your cleanser or makeup remover may have missed. This really helps with texture and pores as well as fine lines. So removing that top surface of the skin is going to help soften the overall appearance and feel of your skin. So I've used a ton of skincare products and this is one that I can truly say has impressed me. Right off the bat, I notice how soft my skin is after using as well as over time. So how I use this, first at the end of the day or at night, I remove my makeup with my makeup remover. Then I use the apricot scrub to exfoliate all over. This is going to, again, remove that dead skin, the texture, any makeup that's left over to help brighten your skin, leaving it looking and feeling softer. It also helps to do this prior to your cleanser, which would be step number three, to make sure that your cleanser, especially for anyone that's experiencing acne, gets a lot deeper into the skin. So it's more beneficial overall. This also won the Beauty Expert Allure 2013 Reader's Choice Award. Sulfate-free, paraben-free, and 100% natural exfoliants, oil-free, and dermatologist-tested. So if you're looking for a deep exfoliator, I would highly recommend this one, especially if you're someone dealing with texture or dry patches, flakiness, or areas that your makeup seems to cake up or build. This is something that you're definitely going to want to try. Now for setting powder, my recent go-to favorite has been the Too Faced 
Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. The last couple of products that I've tried for setting powder, they were so drying for me and so cakey. There's been a, literally a handful and I'm just like, why? Like, who does this work for? Who do you work for? But even having combination skin, I still get shiny patches throughout the day so I applied my makeup this morning just using that CC cream and you guys can probably tell I'm getting a little shiny because I've been wearing this for a few hours now so I probably will just actually use this now to touch up with but this is a great powder to touch up with if you do get shiny or oily and I also love it for setting under my eyes so that way my concealer does not crease. In the summer and when I am more oily, I will use a damp beauty blender to apply this. However, for the colder months, I don't need as much so I'm going to use a fluffier brush and this is tapered and you can probably tell it just helps to brighten soften and remove any excess shine I did apply this underneath my eye this morning when I set the under eye area and you can probably see it has not caked up on me or creased and it's kept my makeup intact underneath the eye to conceal the dark circles. So if you are struggling with finding a setting powder and you have not tried this yet, I highly recommend checking it out. Again, this works great for any skin type in my opinion, whether you're normal, dry, oily, or combination. It is translucent, so it's not going to change the color of your foundation or concealer. My last favorite that I want to mention to you guys in this video is my Bad Habit Aphrodite 18 Color Eyeshadow Collection Palette. I've talked about this numerous times. But just in case you missed it, here's a recap. I guarantee you, you need this palette in your life. <laughs> Look how stunning these colors are. This palette is so pigmented, buttery, creamy texture, a little goes a long way, extremely easy to blend. I cannot stop talking about this palette or stop using it. I've been using this for months now and it still looks great. <laughs> like it's that pigmented where you don't need much at all. This is gonna last me probably forever. Literally, I'm just going to touch them. You can see, just touching. Just like pressing on it. So I did a couple of the mattes and a couple of the metallic or glittery shimmer ones. Ah, that's amazing. Holy you guys, this is everything. I'm just not worthy of your pigment. Pigment perfection. This palette's been a go-to for me recently for day and night looks. And it's an extremely affordable dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I will post the same pictures that I post on Instagram on here just to show you a quick side-by-side, -side, but this dupe is spot on. And it's extremely affordable. It literally only costs $10, but I also have a discount code for you guys to use that you can use when you shop Hush, so I will post that here and in the description box. So you already get an affordable palette, but you can also save a little bit of extra whenever you shop any Hush products. So that is everything for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to read the description box. Don't forget to make sure that you are still subscribed to my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like current favorite product videos. I would also love it if you guys comment in the comment section what you guys want to see from me in this year's Vlogmas. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.